Hi everyone, welcome back to June's Craft Room. I know it's been a really long time and I do apologise. So, I'm going to try and make up for it by doing some craft with you today. Now what I'm going to talk about is laminating. Yes, I know you've probably seen the videos. Oh, we all know how to laminate. But I was watching something the other day and I thought, no, you're going about it all wrong. And this is about one-sided lamination. And what, you've, what I've seen is that people, just bring this in, <coughs> take a laminating sheet like this, okay, they open it up, this has got glue on this side and this side, and when they put it through your printer, your, sorry, your laminator, each side sticks down and it's protected. But when people just want to do one side, what I've seen them doing is putting things in between here, putting the picture down, face down, putting sheets of paper in the middle, then putting a picture frame up, picture side up, and then trying to marry things so that everything fits neatly, and then they close it and then they put it through. And the other thing I've seen people doing is saying, I only want this, I only want to laminate something small. But when I put it all through, I've wasted all this lamination. So I'm here to try and fix those problems. So what can we do? Well, as you'll see, I've been cutting into my one. I won't be able to use this one today. But I've been cutting into it and that's what I recommend you do too is to just cut into your sheet cut into your sheet cut out whatever you need so I'm going to show you in a minute how it's done the other thing greaseproof paper and that is going to protect whatever it is that you're going through with one side and look I'm only using something like not sure whether this was from Aldi 20 meters by 38 centimeters wide it's just from Aldi okay and the sheets that I'm using currently are the matte so they're the standard durability matte laminating pouches so you can get it in matte you can get it in glossy so the things I'm working with today are in matte okay so what I want to show you first is I've got a napkin and I very easily could open that napkin up fit most of it in there if I wanted to cut the border off and put the whole thing through and then put a sheet of paper in I don't want to do all that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this napkin into a quarter and I'll be happy with just that quarter Sorry if nothing's very neat, but I'm happy with just that quarter. Okay, so now what I need, I'm just going to bring this camera a little bit forward, sorry. So now what I need is a piece that will cover that napkin. side off it will be used for something we we'll use it for something so what I'm going to do start preparing that is I'm going to use just one sheet take the sheet leave a little bit around each edge this one I might do it all the way up to the top Take this in half, pop that top 
bit off because we don't really need it and I might be able to find something small to use like what for I'm going to place it in here okay fold it over so that this here is going to be the same as putting the sealed edge into your laminate <gasps> laminator now I hear you if you haven't got a laminator you can do one of two things you can use this then to with an iron all right don't have steam on your iron but you can use this to iron and you can just put the thing down put your iron down and just press it until it's all the glue's melted and it's all melted into the napkin the other thing that you can use is a air straightener now I don't have one but it works in the same principle you've got um, on each side you've got a heat um, and so the same thing you put it in there and you drag it along so I don't have one but maybe you have um, somebody in your home that does have one so let's bring forward this and let's put in this napkin remember we're just going to laminate I'll just check whoops good job I did I'll just put that back a minute good job I checked we want the glue side up now we're going to put the napkin down like that and we're going to put this side the glues here the glues underneath here where are my glues here and we're going to put that down here like that all right so this is the outside glues on the inside going to face down right we're going to fold up our piece of paper and this one it's not going to work on the size that I said but we'll try so now this is going to come through it's going to laminate just one side of the tissue it's going to be held firmly down so there's nothing we have to you know worry about putting a piece of paper in or marrying it up with something else there's no need for that see that's because I didn't have the folded edge in so that's my fault I should have trimmed that down really and that's no, okay just the last part of it is caught We'll just try. And the whole idea of this is just to give you ideas on how to do it. I'm not perfect, never claim to have been perfect. Okay, we open it up, alright? So that's laminated, just simply peels off, reusable, trim this off, and we've got flower we can cut out we get a butterfly we can use the whole thing on a card um it's paper on the back so our glue is going to stick to it okay so that's that and you can see there's absolutely no lifting we can trim it right up to the edge so i'll just do this edge for you I'll go right up to the edge and you can see there's nothing coming out there's nothing you don't have to have that hard plastic edge or anything like that there's nothing now, the other thing that I was playing with was some cards that I'd decorated up just under here so I'll give you an idea now these cards playing cards they were just a nice size to play with so that's why I've done it on these but I don't know if you can see you should be able to see it now um 
I actually stamped on the outside of the um, laminating sheet okay. and then I put it same process put it through now this again trimmed right to the edge right to the edge but you can't see anything it doesn't peel and it's perfectly stuck down so there it is um, another one for you okay and the reason I've done that is because sometimes you can't stamp um, on a glossy surface um, it just won't take so this way you can have what you want you can have it stamped on a glossy surface and because this is matte because this is what I'm using is matte it's actually taken the shine off of it so another one I think we get the idea then I tried this one and this one what I did was I put some glitter in it and I put some sequins in it and the same thing there there's nothing there's nothing on the edge you can cut it right up to the edge nothing's coming apart okay now it has taken the shine off because we've covered the sequins in a, um, a matte so maybe I might try this one in a gloss if I wanted to do it again but it gives you something to start building on for a tag or anything such as that now the last one I love this one I actually have stamped on it as well I'll show you that in a minute but this is alcohol ink and I actually put alcohol ink onto the paper um, and then waited for it to dry and then covered the card in it so let's go through the process of some of those Here's my sheet that I just cut down a little bit. Okay, put the laminator back out. And I'm going to get ink pad. Now use a stays on ink. Use something that's permanent. Don't use um, something that isn't permanent. Not too sure, I think that's the right way. some ink on that turn it over and let's press it a good press perfect but anyway just clean that up now I'm just going to use one card to show you oh that one's already been done let me get a new new card I've got any left because I've been playing so hard. Okay, and let's just chop this down to the size that we want. So if we take this off here, we might actually be able to put two two cards. Okay. I'm just going to fold this over because that was a bit too big last time and we've got a card we could put that down let's have a look for um, another card Okay, 
So again, this is the outside, a little bit shinier, that's the glue side. We want to pop this through here, make sure it's folded, bring in the laminator. this into the edge until it picks it up. And that will heat. It'll make the glue stick. And provided I haven't done anything silly, like I have in a few videos where I've put it on the wrong way. Um Everything should be just right to show you how it's done. Okay, so we're just waiting for this one to come out. And I'm going to move this. Same principle. Open it up, peel it off. Now on the backs afterwards you can stick on whatever you would like. You can stick it on um, tea stained paper, coffee stained paper, anything that you normally put on the back so you can see it's glued right down to the edge a quick trim ah, word of warning if you're going to do something like this and you've got print on the front and back um i just like to trim it right up to the edge here as you can see and there's nothing lifting okay trim a bit there around the corner here and there's nothing see nothing nothing's lifting but you've got a nice printed card Again, so that you can use that on something else. So I'll do this one later. I'll pin this one out as well. Now, when it comes to doing the this one, all I did was I put some glitter, just a little sprinkling of glitter, and put some sequins. Place my one sheet down. Put it into the grease proof paper and sent it through the exact same way now because like I said this one is a matte it is um, taken the sheen off this so I try it with a gloss so I'm not going to show you how because they're all working on the same principle the last one I want to show you is doing it with alcohol ink I'll just put that there so this is the outside and the one I used was Pebble this is a Tim, Tim Holtz one Pebble a little tiny mixative and I do be careful because these come out way quicker than I would want them to okay we're going to quickly let that spread and then we're going to come in do a pattern we can blow it This one's called Clover.
Okay. And then you could do things like I've got mixatives there, I've got gold, I've got silver. I might just try a bit of gold in this one. Just try a bit of gold. Now the mixatives have got a little ball. Give them a good mix. This is gold. See that? Gold. These are a little bit firmer to the touch. There's some of the beautiful patterns you can get there. I've got a bubble in it. You can use um not you don't have to just blow with your mouth, you can just you can also use a straw. Whatever you do though, don't use something hot because obviously we're dealing with glue. You put something hot to dry this off, it's never going to be happy. Okay. Now what you do have to do is you have to let this dry. But if you're in a hurry and you want to do something, you think, oh yeah, I like that. Then it's quite easy to just mop up any excess ink. And what that can also do is transfer pattern. Okay, so we've took a bit more of the gold off there. But that's alright for this purpose. I'm happy with that. Okay. Now you can cover the whole card, some of the card. It's entirely up to you. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're sticking this onto, card fronts, glued down, no need to saw, no need to apply the glue. Let's bring this all the way over here. No need to apply any other glue or anything like that. Make some nice tags for your journals and let's go. So we've popped. Then I intend to, intend to do another video um, again on the more easier things to do rather than making life difficult for yourself. Still did have a bit of paint on it, as you remember. Peel it off. There you go. It's set. And that gold has made it. You can see it. How quite? It's still quite, quite shiny. Yeah. And if you had the patience to just sit and wait for a few minutes, just go off and do something else. And then they, again, this can be built on. So, and like I've shown you before, trimmed right up to the edge. And there's no coming away. There's no that it's not stuck. Okay, so there's a couple of interesting things for you to play with. Now, I'm not going to tell you that I was the first one who thought of this, because I probably wasn't. And just because I haven't made a YouTube about it doesn't mean I haven't been doing it for a long time because I have but I see people who want acknowledgement or credit for coming up with an idea or showing you something that's been in um, let's say the creative world for a long long time and I can't do that I think that as artists we all come up with ideas we might see something that leads us on to, and that's what this came from. 
we see something and it leads us on to doing this you might take some out of this video and go oh well maybe I could try that wonder if what happens if I there's all them questions to me that's what it's all about so now I don't want any credit for doing this because the chances are somebody's got it on a blog somewhere did it several years ago and I just haven't seen that blog okay so when I very first started out I'm just going to see if I can find the pocket for you just one moment just looking I should have had this prepared but I hadn't thought about showing it to you so now these ones are clear ones where you just seal the pocket you see here so you made a pocket Think you can see that made a pocket yeah um, and this one I made with two pockets okay two pockets and that was for ones where I have the stamp just put that back there a bit I've made a stamp pocket And then at the back of that, I've made the die pocket so that they're always together. Okay? If anybody wants to see how I've done this, please just leave a comment below. Thanks everybody. I look forward to creating another video soon. Bye!